Okay, welcome back to another tutorial in microcontroller PIC programming and construction. Uh, today we're going to be playing with uh, one that everybody likes is the accelerometers. So that'll be a lot of fun to play with. The one that I'm going to be using today will be the one by MEMS IC or MEMSIC. It is going to be the MXD2125 uh, accelerometer. And I've got the data sheet right here. And this one, the reason I'm choosing to do this one is because this one that most everyone should have access to, um, whether you're a beginner or a more advanced user with PicMark controllers. Um, this one you can pick up um, from Parallax Systems, which uh, Radio Shack, if you have a local Radio Shack, they actually stock these anymore. And they're about 30, 35 bucks, not horrible. Um, but little sensor, but th what's nice is that it, it actually comes as a surface mount component and if you get the ones that are from uh, Radio Shack, the, the Parallax company, they, they go ahead and mount that to a board and give you some uh, give you some headers that stick through so that way you can use it kind of like a DIP you know, so socket so you can snap it into a breadboard so it's really nice. They also put um, some noise suppression capacitors on it for you and whatnot. Uh, but what we're going to look at is if you actually bought just just the uh, accelerometer by itself, if you, you you know bought the surface mount component. And so I'll kind of go through how the, uh, the parallax people are actually mounting it and then we'll take a look at the parallax uh, one and how you cable it up. Um, but right now we're just using a dual axis accelerometer. Uh, we're not doing the three axis. We'll do that maybe later. So all we have is basically uh, those of you that have dealt with aviation or play video games forever, you have pitch and roll with this one, just rotation about the Y and the X axis. So basically have pitch and roll that you can deal with. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be looking at that. Let's take a brief look at the uh, at the case. See, uh, here's the package that they use. Um, the pinout that they have, this one is an 8 pin eight pin package <coughs> excuse me and okay and this has uh, this has all your different pinouts on it uh, we will probably mostly be using the um, VDD VDA the D out Y and the D out X and obviously ground but the others we won't be we won't be using but this gives you um, basically your pack your pinouts for your package um, shows you which direction you can mount it so that way you know which which way is X and which way is Y and then also it even gives you um, some package dimensions that are down here. Here's also um, basically how to mount capacitors to it when you put the supplies for uh, noise suppression so that way you can keep some noise out of it. Um, also it gives you um, basically how it works which will uh, which we'll go into more detail when I look at the parallax one. Um, but I just wanted to show you the actual data sheet for it. It's an LCC8 package, 8 pin SMD package. Um, here's the dimensions for it. And that's basically the rundown of the actual device itself. Um, there's a data sheet. You can just find this uh, on the internet. In fact, I'll take and I'll post the link in the description for this. Um, but this is the main thing I wanted to show you is the Memzik, Memzik one. Uh, the next one that we're going to look at is the actual parallax one. And as you can see, parallax, they actually mount the IC to a little board, place in your two noise suppression capacitors for you, and basically builds you just kind of a total package where all you have to do is just read the signals going in and out, and you just power it up, uh, put power and ground to it, and then you pull the two signals out, and you're good. How this actually works is there's actually kind of like a heater in the bottom of this um, inside the unit and what it does is it heats a type of gas in the gas chamber and there's actually thermal couples placed at all four sides of it so what happens is the gas then rises and then as you tilt it as seen in this picture as you move it around the gas basically stays where it's at and then when you move this around the gas will float either closer or further away from each thermal couple and then depending on that then it that's how it gets a reading on where where the acceleration is and so that's basically the theory in rundown nutshell how it how it works 
Now if we get down here, this is how they have theirs put together. You've basically got your T out, which is your temperature out, if you want to read that. You've got your Y out, your X out, your ground, and then your VDD supply. The ones we will be using, we won't use the temperature out. We will just use uh, the grounds. And the thing about this, the nice thing, is that these two grounds are tied together internally on this board. So you just have to ground one side. You don't have to ground both sides. So that way it saves you a wire. But okay, how this communicates is by, like it says, a 100 hertz PWM wave. And what it's going to do is basically this wave is going to either get bigger or smaller, you know, the time, the time of the wave frequency of it's going to get bigger or smaller is what's going to happen. And so what you do is we're going to set up a program that will actually inside of our pick microcontroller that will basically measure, measure that width, basically measure the width of this and see, uh, see what it's doing. <clears throat> and so that way uh, you can, that's how you can measure uh, the acceleration in different ways. So fairly straightforward, um, fairly simple example. Um, here they show you kind of a, a mock setup for an example circuit. But fairly, fairly easy, very quick to straight, straightforward to put together. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware connections. Bring that up. Okay, we'll zoom in a little bit for you. I'll give you a brief rundown on this. I went ahead and created the Memzik version and not the uh, parallax version. So I've actually got over here for our device, I've actually got eight pins. I've got all eight pins uh, for the for the for the uh, accelerometer in its SMD package. And I go ahead and show you those two uh, capacitors that uh, parallax provides you. But just in case, you know, that that way if you guys want to, you know, build your own circuits using that exact one. You can you can use the surface mount stuff. So here we go. We've got our voltage regulator, 100 and our 0.1 microfarad capacitors for noise suppression. Got our 10k mem clear resistor, and then we got our IC. I went ahead because I'm going to use a communication protocol, and we're going to in a later video. Um, I'm going to show how to write a Visual Basic program to accept some serial data, basically the accept some numbers that basically our pick's going to spit out, and um, then we're going to do some cool stuff with it, and we'll we'll make some sliders that show um, show movement in the x and y axis and stuff. So pretty cool stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our Max 232 chip in here with our with our RS232 communication. Just keeping it simple. We'll we'll study USB later, but we'll, right for right now, let's just keep it simple, and we'll stick with just the RS-232 link, uh, serial link. Then what we have is up here. You've got your ground, and basically um, your power, and then there's the two noise suppression capacitors um, that that Parallax provides you. But uh, so basically, you just need power and ground, and then you've got your Y axis and then we've got our x-axis that goes in. So R6 is going to be our y, R7 is going to be our x-axis. So, And that's basically all there is to uh, cabling this up. Basically, power, ground, x and y, and that's it. And uh, then we don't forget your serial communication, that way you can actually see something changing. And that pretty much does it for the hardware. It's fairly simple uh, to access system, very simple. So I'm going to stop the video now and we'll pick up with part two uh, for the coding.